Hey guys, Tyron back here. Um, so I've got I'm I've been a little busy these days, got test week, so I need to learn a lot, and I've been learning a lot because I need to get some good grades this period. So that's why I haven't been too much on YouTube. But here I'm back again with some Shogun 2 Total War. A lot of guys have requested this, so uh, I thought, why not? Let's play some Shogun 2 Total War. And I think Shogun 2 Total War is still really the really, really the best Total War game ever made. And I just played some multiplayer online. I love multiplayer with Total War games. Just showing off your skill. Well, my skill. I don't have skill, but still showing off my thing. So I played two battles today, and I won them both. So I am a pro. <laughs> no, I'm probably not. But let's take a look at our battle replay here. Against uh, Mohibius13. I just played this one, so no problem. I still remember what's, what this map was about. And I know I make a lot of mistakes, but it's a long time since I've been playing Shogun 2 Total War Multiplayer Online. So don't yell at me for making mistakes. <laughs> Please do not. I, I am tired of Greece. So please do not. Alright, so uh, this was the map of Hukurio Crossing. Never heard of this map, so I didn't know didn't know what this map was about. So I just took some troops. And I thought, let's use some Bokav. And I used some Bokav. Three of them. In in the past, if you seem if you see have seen my videos, I've used Bokev a lot, but not three Bokev units, but most of the time only like one or two Bokev units, three really two max. So this is really a different kind of army for myself. I've never used this sort of army. I've never used this sort of army ever. Never. I, I never used this sort of army. So uh, now I'm just going to try it, and um, it feels pretty solid. In the end, my Bokev got like 200 kills, and if your Bokev got 200 kills, you know that's good. So uh, a long time that I did Shogun 2, so just three non-Chevron Bokev, nothing too special there, is my army. Got a Naginata Samurai up front with three Chevrons. Got three katanas, one with two chevrons, and the rest with zero. Got myself a Yari Kev with three chevrons, and a Fire Kev of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chevrons. You can count the flags. And this one with seven chevrons too, so I got pretty decent Kev. My opponent at the other side of this map has three Yari Kev, just like me, but I got a Fire Kev, and mine are more upgraded. And he's got two Katanas, pretty decent upgrades, and another two Katana, with pretty decent upgrades. And I thought, why didn't I bring Katana Kev? Because he has no spears in his army, and you really, really need spears in your army. You just need at least one unit, otherwise it's just a place where your cavalry can charge. And he's got two bow warrior monks, so pretty decent army, but no spears, that's, that's not good. And by the way guys, this was a 10k battle. 10k, yep, that's true, 10k battle. So that wasn't too much money, but 10k battles, you know, 10k. So here I run my bokev forward, and uh, I make some mistakes where I lose a lot of bokev. So don't yell at me for that, because never think I'm planned to lose bokev. Shogun 2 is... Well, look at that. That's just nice. So I just forgot that my Bokev needs protection from the Yari Kev. <laughs> really big mistake on my part. Lost a lot of Bokev, probably. Because of that. Wow, only two kills. Yep, I lost a lot of Bokev because of that. So I send in my Yari Kev around there. <laughs> I send in my Yari Kev, and as you can see, I'm losing loads of troops. That is not good. Okay, so as you can see, my our Bokev unit just um <laughs> just gone. It's just dead. It's fleeing. So I was like, oh no. And it is probably like, oh no, because this was pretty stupid. I shouldn't have lost my Bokev. My Bokev is my most important component in this. That's probably why my bokeh is the most important component. And as you may notice that little cut there, I just accidentally pressed F9. And that's re stop recording and record. 
so that's why. Um, so as you can see here, he gets the charge, mistake on my part again, but still I'm gonna win this calf fight because my calf is just way more chevron than his is. And there comes his melee general. Melee general seems to be pretty popular in these days. Really pretty popular. I don't know why melee generals are so popular these days. I really have no idea. But now you can see me charging in with my bokeh, and as you can see, that just drops the morale of my enemy. <laughs> so because bokeh is is pretty decent against Kev, if you're in a charge. If you're in a charge, bokeh is gonna seriously win very hard. So always remember that you can charge with your bokeh and do the final touch to destroy his army. Remember that. Tyrant of Greece, wise, wiseness, probably. Yeah, probably. So uh, that's my that's my tips for online Shogun 2. And here he fire his fire arrows, and he missed them all. No, no deaths on my side. That's pretty nice. Always like to have no deaths on my side. Always like that. So now I'm just shooting back on his katanas, and uh, he's smart enough to put them on loose formation in a few seconds. There you go. But I'm already coming from this side with my army, so he probably just need needs to put them back into um, normal formation, uh, tight formation again when I'm almost there. So my bows will, my bowcaf will still do a lot of decent damage. They got about 200 kills each, so do remember that. That's just a lot of kills. 200 kills is not a is not. Well, how should I say that? 200 kills is a lot of kills because this guy had about 1 2 3 4 5 6 this guy has about 800 men so 200 kills each that's about mm, health of his army so only my bow have kill already killed 50% of his army that's just a lot of troops that's just really a lot of troops so here you can see our epic armies clashing together pretty cool right so our armies clashing together these days people like to use a lot of katanas I, I like to use that too, but you always need Kev. Cavalry is so important. So there you go, you see my general over there, he's gonna be in stand and fight. And my bow calf is still shooting from behind, doing pretty decent damage, and uh, I didn't saw he charging me, so that, that, that was another mistake on my part. <laughs> I'm having a lot of mistakes these days. Uh, so as you can see, I could let one cavalry escape and get myself a back charge into here. So his troops will probably all flee. And I like when troops flee. <laughs> Who doesn't? So here you can see I'm destroying his bow warrior monks with my bokev, but they're not shooting back, so that's probably why. <laughs> A bokev is really accurate, as you can see. <laughs> Alright, so I give a back charge with my Yari cavalry here. And they're all gonna flee. Well, not all. Their, their morale is gonna drop a bit. And a lot, is gonna, a lot of troops are gonna flee too. Uh, so here I get a charge into that with my bow cavalry. And uh, they first wanted to charge these bow, bow warrior monks. I thought, well, why not? So they charged bow warrior monks first, killed all the bow warrior monks. And uh, that was not what I planned to do, but they killed a lot of bow warrior monks. And now they get a back charge into this piece of the army. And there goes his general. And it's a melee general. Well, not there. Well, his general still survives, but still. It was a pretty decent charge with Bokav. Look, the morale's dropping pretty decently. So, Bokav, always remember, Bokav is so versatile. You can just be really quick and mobile. They're just mobile archers, and they're doing a lot of damage. They're just doing a lot of damage. If you, if you just, you guys just really need to try using Bokav, because I really love Bokav. They're just like, they're really 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 strong they're almost every shot if you have a good are if you have good bows good with good upgrades almost every shot is a hit so you probably with one volley you get probably 20 kills and that's believe me that's a lot of kills in Shogun 2 and that was the battle <laughs> didn't, didn't expect it to be so quick uh, so here you got your video uh, from Tyrant of Greece, and hope you all enjoyed this. Please give, please comment, rate, and sub. Whoa, let's do it again. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel just to see my other updates, and just like if you want to see more Shogun 2. 
I really enjoy playing this game. This game is just so awesome. It's just made very well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this um, battle replay, guys, and uh, peace out.